Today we're going to take a short street ride through the North Georgia mountains. We're leaving from the Days Inn in Dahlonega to ride what I call the Such's Lap, such as it is. First we'll be heading north on US-19. This is the same US-19 that runs along the west coast of Florida. It's a little congested as we start out, but it quickly gets past that into a more rural setting. Now we're leaving the main highway and getting into a well-maintained country road. Down here in the lower foothills, it's a pleasant 82 degrees, but that will probably change as we go up into the mountains. This is the R Ranch in the mountains. It's an 800-acre resort-style horse ranch, but apparently the horses are holding a peaceful protest rally at the lodge because there's none to be seen out here in the pastures. Now we're getting back on the main highway, taking the roundabout and heading for Suches on Highway 60. We start out at just a little over 1,400 feet in elevation at Dahlonega. Here at Woody Gap, we are over 3,100 feet up. Time for some push-ups. Locals here are pretty good at pulling over to let you pass. This is the two wheels of such as motorcycle resort. They offer room and cabin rentals and a restaurant, but the restaurant is only open on weekends.
Now we're leaving Highway 60 and turning on to Highway 180, more commonly known as Wolf Pen Gap Road. This is a highly acclaimed and popular motorcycle road. Whoa there, dude. As my daddy used to say, I'll give you half the road, but don't take it out of the middle. Here at the southern end, it's pretty flat and mellow, but it tightens up quickly as you start heading up the mountain. These curves are actually a lot sharper than they look on camera. There's a 180 switchback that deserves your attention. Those oncoming vehicles at the apex of the turn also get your attention.
Now we're back on US 19 heading south. This road has some fast flowing curves and not much traffic. Here we're pulling into the Blood Mountain Country Store and Hiking Center. There are various theories on the origin of Blood Mountain's name, one being due to a bloody battle between two rival Indian tribes, another due to the reddish rhododendron growing on the mountain. Take your choice. Blood Mountain is also the highest peak on the Georgia portion of the Appalachian Trail at an elevation of 4,458 feet. Still on US-19 and heading south back to Dahlonega. Well, here we are back at the Days Inn. The Suches Lap is about 55 miles and it's just right for a quick morning wake-up ride or an evening cool-down ride. 